Good day. Welcome to Accounting Made Simple, where numbers make sense and confidence begins. I am Mr. Samson, and today we are diving into depreciation calculations. Whether you're in grade 10, 11, or 12, you're in the right place. Let's break this down step by step. If you look at my screen, we'll see that there's Activity 1 showing the straight line method. Well, we would recall that from grade 10 to 12, we discuss only two methods of depreciating asset the straight line method as well as the diminishing balance method so i'll start with my first activity for today where i'm exploring the straight line method some authors will call it percentage on cost some authors will say this is fixed installment the conclusion that we have on this type of depreciation is that the depreciation amount stays the same from year one to year two to year three until the asset is fully depreciated now, if we focus on the question, it says uh, the information below relates to Edwina traders on 28 February 2021, end of the financial year. Okay, let us quickly underline here. So we have the debt for our, we have the financial timeline for our business. At the end of the year, it is February 2021. If you want to establish the debt at the beginning of the year, you take one month after February, that will be March, and back debt to 2020. So it simply means the financial year is running from March 2020 to February 2021. Now we should calculate depreciation on equipment for the year ended 20 February 2021. The information given, we have equipment account 160,000. And we have accumulated depreciation account on 1 March 2020. This one we are certain that this amount is the balance at the beginning of the year. The 160,000, you need to keep your mind open on this amount until you read the additional information and conclude on whether this is going to be the amount at the beginning or the amount at the end. Now on additional information, the examiner is saying provide for depreciation at 15% per annum on the cost price method. Okay, so we should calculate depreciation for the current year. However, also have a point which says a new computer was purchased on January 1st, 2021 for 40000 Okay, so this is a key takeaway, the amount, which is the cost price and the date of purchasing this. Well, the transaction has been correctly recorded. This is interesting because now you're going back to the 160,000. And since the examiner is saying the transaction has been properly recorded, it means the 40,000 cost price of the new computer or equipment is included in this amount here. All right, with that in mind, let us go and calculate depreciation on old equipment as well as new equipment so if you are handling depreciation quickly do this write down the word art which means amount rate and time frame so the first thing you need to know which amount are you going to use to calculate depreciation on a straight line method we make use of cost price so all the equipment i would say the cost price given is 160,000. So you will take 160,000, the way it is, place it here. You need to check your additional information so that you can deal with new equipment as well. So new equipment, we know that the cost price is 40,000. Now, at least you are handling this 40,000. Remember, this has been correctly recorded. Therefore, it is ideal that we remove that 40,000 here to avoid misleading um, our, um, our, our users of financial information. So the 160,000 carries the 40,000. Since there's a special place for 40,000, we are going to take away the 40,000 and the remainder will be 120,000. So out of this, one would say the equipment account at the beginning of the year, we had 120,000 and they represent old equipment. So the word old equipment simply means the assets or equipment which was available from the beginning of the current year up until the end of the current year. Now for new 
equipment. These are assets or equipment purchased during the current year. They were not available at the beginning of the year, but now we still have them in use in our business. So once you are able to split old equipment from new equipment, now you can carry on to the rate of depreciation. Well, the rate of depreciation, it is 15%. You do the same on new equipment. Now, earlier on, on old equipment, I said these are assets which were available from the beginning of the year. So if we know that, it means our time frame is 12 over 12. But as for the new equipment, which was only purchased in January 2021, if we say January, it's one month, because it's January 1st, February, you're already at year end. So this simply suggests that the asset was available in use only for two months. So we're going to say times two over 12. It will be okay if you do the calculations concurrently, especially if you want to balance the issue of the cost price. So it's not always straightforward where you have the cost price for all the equipment available. You need to apply logic. 160,000 represent both the old and new equipment. So we must remove the new equipment from this 160,000 to have 120,000. Now, if you calculate these figures, old equipment is 18,000 and the new equipment will be 1,000. Now, the total depreciation for the year, the amount that must be recorded in the income statement, we are going to add the two. If you take 18,000, then you add 1,000 to get the total amount of 19,000. These are the figures that you will place in brackets in the income statement. To show the examiner that you were adding the old equipment plus new equipment to get 19,000. Now, let us go and try the diminishing balance method. With the same approach, I have the second activity right here. So the diminishing balance method, it is also called the percentage of carrying value. Some of the authors will call this uh, the reducing balance method. The conclusion that you take away from this method is that depreciation is very high in year one. As you go to year two, it decreases. You go to year three, it decreases further. So as you continue towards year five, you realize that it is continuously diminishing. It is continuously decreasing. And the name is diminishing balance method. Let us do activity number two. The information relates to M stores. The financial year end is 3rd June 2020. We need that one. So quickly underline. Calculate depreciation on vehicles for the year end 28 February. Uh, 28 February 2021. Now, on the information given, we have vehicles on 30 June 2020. So this one is clear. This balance is at the end of the year. Now, accumulated depreciation on vehicles, it is on the 1st of July 2019. You can actually have 1st of July here, 2019. This is the beginning of the year, and the amount is given. Now, additional information. Depreciation on vehicles is calculated at 20% per annum on the diminishing balance method. So we must provide for depreciation in the current year at 20%. A new vehicle was purchased on January 1st, 2020 for 190000 This has not been recorded. Okay, take note of this one. And take note of this and this. So it is your debt of purchasing the asset, January 1st, 2020. It is the amount, which is the cost price of 190000 The transaction not yet recorded. So now, if you are using the diminishing balance method, you still need to put down this word, amount, rate, and time frame. Diminishing balance method, the amount that we use is the carrying value. That's why on top there, it is called the carrying value method. To calculate carrying value, we must say cost minus accumulated depreciation. That is the formula for carrying value. And you must show the examiner the steps to the build-up of your carrying value. 
So all the assets, they were available at the beginning of the year up until the end of the year. New assets, these are vehicles which were bought during the course of the year and we still have them in the business as we speak. Now, the cost price for old is going to be 240,000. The cost price for new is going to be 190,000, this amount here. But remember, these are cost price. And before you carry on, you need this section of the new vehicle. Was this recorded? No. Therefore, the 240,000 rand in the account exclude this figure. So we are not going to do anything. We have the two separate figures for two separate types of vehicles. Now, to calculate carrying value, you need to subtract accumulated depreciation. So let us have brackets here, minus, minus. Accumulated depreciation for old vehicles, vehicles which were available at the beginning of the year. Here's your debt to show that this amount is for the beginning of the year. So I'll take my 86,400. This represents depre uh, accumulated depreciation at the beginning of the year. And as for the new asset, the weight suggests that this is new. It means there is no accumulated depreciation. This is for the first time we are depreciating this asset. So I'm going to use zero to represent that there is no depreciation. We are still to get any depreciation on this asset. So now once you have this, it suggests that your carrying value is set. You can calculate the totals, but your calculators allow us to do this. So we can move on to the rate of depreciation. Rate of depreciation, this is 20% and this is 20%. On the time frame, old vehicles, we know they were the beginning of the year. So old assets at all times, it is always 12 over 12. They were available at the beginning of the year up until the end of the financial year. But as for new vehicles, we need to check it is January 2020. Now you need to go back and check on the financial year end. Okay, let's see my activities having uh, two different dates here. Financial year end is 30 June 2020. I'm going to adapt this question. Why not cancel this date here and make this 30 June 2020. Okay, just to test on the logic of the question, hold on. Okay, all makes sense. Right, so it's 30 June 2020. Now you're going to calculate from January to June. Easier way is to either count your fingers. I'm not going to count my fingers because I want you to see what I'm doing. So I'm going to say January, February, March, April, May, June. One, two, three, four, five, six. So my new asset, six over 12. Now, let us calculate. Using our calculators, you punch all these figures to your calculator. You will find that our old vehicles, total, the old vehicles depreciation amount is 30,720. And for you, you have 19,000. Now, you must add the two figures together to get your total depreciation for the year. 30,000. 720 plus 19,000 will give us the total amount of depreciation for the current year, which is 49,720. And this amount will appear in our income statement. Remember, in the income statement, we would normally open brackets and close them to show that we have combined these two. We have reached the end of our lesson today. Thanks for learning with me here at Accounting Made Simple. If the video helped you, go ahead, subscribe and share it with someone who needs it too. Well, here and there, each and every week, I'll be dropping some few lessons. So stay sharp and stay consistent. If you have a question that you need help with, please drop in the comment section. I might feature it in my next video. Thank you for today and thank you for watching.